Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Well, actually, this isn't a video, like, this isn't a 10 season takeover. It's actually a tutorial on how to do the 10 season takeover thumbnails. But you know the thumbnails, I'm gonna put them all around the screen, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do the thumbnail for them, and uh, also the thumbnail for an upcoming takeover, which is the Crystal Palace takeover coming out on Thursday. I'm doing this just in case if you guys wanna do 10 season takeovers just like me. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be telling you guys how to, like, edit your videos, because, like, I mean, you edit with your style, I guess. Without further ado, let's get straight in. Like the video and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Let's get straight into it. So, I've got my iPad right down here. Like, you know, right here. The first thing what you're going to do is you're going to download PixArt. It's completely free. You don't have to buy anything. And, uh, yeah. You don't need pro or anything like that. But everything that I do with this thumbnail is completely free. You don't want to go into PixArt yet. You're going to want to go into Safari. So what you're going to first want to search up is like a Crystal Palace player in like the new kit. So like for example I could go like SA PNG or something like that. You go into images. You look for like you look for a PNG like with the like checkered background. You go onto it, you hold it on your iPad, and save the photos. Anyways, now that you've got your Crystal Palace player, you're going to want to search two quite popular players and their PNG. For me, I'm going to go with Foden, and I could go for Lautaro Martinez. And also, whatever team you're doing it on, for the background of it, you're going to want to search their stadium. So, yeah, for Crystal Palace, it's Selhurst Park. And you're going to want to find an image where it's the inside of the stadium so like for example this one here but I'm actually not gonna go for this one I'm gonna go for that one now what you're gonna want to do is save it to your photos and then yeah that's all the images you need so next up what you're gonna want to do is go into PixArt go into a blank base plate add a photo and add the Eberiche as a photo or whatever team you're doing so once you've got Eberiche as a now, like you need to select the photo and you're going to press this erase button at the top and then just erase off his head. That does not sound right. You're going to want to erase a bit of the neck as well. You need to be careful with this, otherwise it's going to go completely wrong. As I'm showing you right now, this is how I always do it. Once you've got like the head gone, you're going to want to add another photo of your selected player. So like Foden. And you're going to want to erase off, not the head this time, but the shirt. Yeah, you're going to want to leave his neck so you can, like, place it onto the Crystal Palace shirt and all that. Yeah, you're going to want to get rid of everything that's, like, the shirt that they're currently wearing in the photo. And, yeah, once you've got his neck available, you're going to want to put it in position, like, in the right position, right straight into the, um, shirt. And then once you've done that, you're going to want to go in here and just fix up some place. So like re restore like a bit of the neck. And if some of the shirt like reappears, then just lower it a bit. And then you're going to want to fix up the neck and everything and just like get everything to like the right proportions and everything. And just like fit it all in between so there's no blank pieces remaining in there. Now that you got the first one, you're going to want to save it into your photos and then you're going to want to delete the current player that you have and then select the next player just so you can have two players in your thumbnail. Like With Lautaro Martinez, of course, you've got to erase all of the shirt as usual and then just get him back and get him into like the right proportion. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to of course do it like Phil Foden and just erase all the like access of it so you're gonna want to like put you're gonna want to put like all his like features carefully back into the shirt and then there you go now you've got your second player and now you're gonna want to save it into photos and then you're gonna want to come off of it and then you're going to select your stadium that you've picked and then go over to tools in the bottom corner and press crop and then you're going to want to crop it into a 16 by 9 because that's what YouTube thumbnails are. Now 
with like the color background that I do, you're going to want to press effects and go into color gradient and then select the two colors of your club. So yeah, for Crystal Palace, it is blue and yeah, just blue. Now that you've got a completely blue background for like, for like the club design, you're going to want to show it in your VOD recording. So we're going to go straight over to YouTube and then go over to your VOD thing and then go to like the part where like you show the like Crystal Palace or whatever club you're doing thingy. So like this here, look, there you go, there it is. You're going to want to screenshot it and then crop it. You're going to want to crop it in like that, so you want to show England and also Premier League and also a bit of the two arrows as well and you, you're gonna want to save that into photos if you haven't done that don't worry just search up on safari crystal palace or whatever it is ea fc 25 and then you're gonna want to look into images and see if there is any that you can use if not then uh you're gonna want to make another recording of you on fc 25 just showing that so now that you got that you're gonna want to put it all together so you're gonna press the add photos you're gonna go crystal palace or whatever you're doing and then you're gonna stick it right in the middle you'll know it's in the middle when that pink line and the other pink line shows up so you're gonna want to put it there and then you're gonna add photo and you're gonna put in your two players so you're gonna put in Lautaro Martinez it doesn't matter where you put them um, like just side by side is what I do it doesn't really matter the proportions either you're gonna want to go into text and then put in 10 seasons with an exclamation mark now the font that I always use is AWPC Avent Guard Bold and then the colors that I use the color white and then the stroke black with the with the amount at 50 now I forgot to say about this but like the size doesn't matter now you got this thumbnail which is basically nearly the completed design and uh, if you want to do what I did with the Girona thing and have like the league and then the domestic cup in the like corners then you're gonna want to go into Safari and of course search up the league that you're doing so for this one Premier League and you're gonna want to search for the logo PNG and you're gonna want the logo that's like this and then I've already got the Champions League logo saved in like my photos so it doesn't really matter so you're gonna want to go into it and then you're gonna want to add a border and you're gonna want to add a white border with 25 stroke on it or actually no 20 that's what I add it at you're gonna want to add it with 20 stroke and then put it right in the corner not too small so that you don't see it but like where you can actually kind of see it so yeah you're not going to want it too small otherwise people can't see it and then with the Champions League one it's about the same border white 20 and then put it straight in the corner and there you go that is the completed thumbnail and you're going to want to save it into your photos and that is your thumbnail done if you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the notification bell as usual. And uh, yeah, can't wait to see you in the Crystal Palace takeover on Thursday. So yeah, hopefully I get to see content with like these type of thumbnails that I have like basically like told everyone. But like, yeah, if you do ever like make a video with this thumbnail, please tell me and uh, like, yeah, please send the video of it, and of course I will watch it. I, I might even comment as well, so uh, yeah, bear in mind of that. Anyways, thank you for watching, and yeah, we're nearly at 30k, so please subscribe.